Welcome to A Square Technologies. We are going to introduce a new component uh, in the Talent DI, and we are going to see the purpose of that particular component in this video. So that new component will be a TMAP component, which we are going to introduce between the input component block and output component block in Talent DI. So before getting into the second video, please go through the first video so you will have an idea of how to take a data and how to read a data using a simple steps in Talent DA. Let's get into the topic. So I've created one more job under the sample project and the job name I have given it as mapping. So in this mapping job only, I'm going to introduce a TMAP component, which is a new component between the input component and the output component. So as discussed in the previous video, the input component will be T file input delimiter and the output component will be T log row component. So I'm just going to introduce a new component, processing component, TMAP between the input and output component. In order to connect the input and the TMAP, just click and drag, and TMAP to log row, just click and drag. When we are trying to connect the TMAP component and the T log row component, we will be asked to give the output name. It is a user defined name, so I'm just giving it as output. So in order to take a data and in order to give the data as an input to the T file input lead delimiter block, just click this, go to the component, so add the file in this file name or stream block. Under header, make the header to get changed from 0 to 1. Go to the edit schema and edit the uh, column names. How many column you want to add? All the columns you can add and you can give the column names. So to which it has to take the data and to that particular column, it has to align the input data taken from the data file. So let me make this column name as character because this is the column name present in the data file. So I'm using the same column name. So how to use this column name and type, you please refer in the first video and please come to the second video. And it is a string data type. So I'm just using string data type. And the second column will be like cart. It is a string data type. And the third column name is speed. So speed will be represented in a decimal value. So I'm just using float data type. And the next column name will be weight. And the type is float. And the next column name will be handling. And the type will be float. And the next column name, I'm just going to include as environment, which is a string data type. So I've edited my schema, so I've given OK. So what happens is I have taken a data file and I have given schema for that particular data file and I have given that as an input to the T file input delimiter. So next is the intermediate component, which is a TMAP component. So instead of directly reading the data from an input block to that of the output block, why we introduce a processing component? Uh, called as TMAP component means we have some purpose when we go with this TMAP component. So what is the purpose means either if you want to add a column or to remove a column, it cannot be made directly when we try to transfer the data from the T file input delimited block to the T log row block. So we should have some intermediate component. So which will be used to apply the transformations to one or more columns. Even if you want to collect the data sources from different uh, data sources, and if you want to propagate that to one or more output, we need a central processing block or a component. So which is nothing but the team up component, uh, which we use it in the talent BI. So for that purpose only, we mainly go for the team up component. 
So just click on the team up component next. So if you see the team up component on the left hand side, you can see the row one. So where all the input which we have given the schema are appeared. And on the right hand side, the output will be present, but we don't have any column name here. So at the bottom, if we see the output, the output is completely empty. So what should be the column header name of the output that can be given by us. So at the bottom output column, just add new column. How many columns you want? For example, if you have five columns here, if you want only four columns at the output, we can add only four columns. It is not necessary that we have to add five columns over there. So we can have some addition of columns or re removing some columns as per our requirement when we go for the TMAP processing component. So I'm just introducing some five columns here and I'm just renaming this column. So first column, I'm just naming it as character. And the second column, same as cart. Third column, speed. And fourth column, weight. And I'm going to use the fifth column. I'm going to skip the handling and I'm going to use the environment. So I'm using only uh, five columns out of the six, six columns which I have taken as an input. And you can change the data type. Speed will be of flow data type. So input and output data type should be match matching. Otherwise, you will not be able to get the sync between the input and the output. Environment is a string. Okay. So we have uh, mat matched the input and output data type and just give uh, apply. Okay. So what happens is whenever we whenever we try to include the output, all those outputs will be displayed on the output column on the right hand side of the TMAP component. So when we start typing here, so those things will be appearing here. And when we want to map the input to that of the output by using the component, what we have to do means just click on the particular column header and just drag and put it across the other column header. It is not that the character should be mapped with the character. It's not like that. Even the character can be mapped with the cop. Speed can be mapped with any other output column name, but the data type should be same. So that should be uh, common between the input and the output. So let me take the card. So I'm just dragging it to the card. Let me take speed and I'm just mapping it to the speed. So let me take weight. I'm just mapping it to the weight. I cannot take handling and I cannot map it to the environment because handling is having a string, data, uh, sorry, float data type and environment is having a string data type. So I'm just mapping the environment to the environment. So I'm skipping this handling. So we have mapped the input schema details to the output of the TMAP component. So just give OK. So if, would you like to propagate the changes? You please give yes. So that's all. So we have mapped the data from the input file to that of the TMAP. So now from TMAP, we have to make the output to get displayed in the T-log row. So just click on the T-log row, go to the component, and under mode, you please choose table because we want all the data to get printed in the form of tables. Now we are going to run the job and see whether the input is mapped to the TMAP and from the TMAP, whether the uh, input is propagated as an output to the T-log row. So go to the run and just run the job. So after running the job, if you scroll up, you will be able to see the data present in the input uh, file, which we have loaded. So we have character, we have cart, we have speed, we have weight, and we have environment. So whatever output we have used it in the TMAP component, and only that output is displayed. We don't have the handling uh, column because handling column is skipped in the TMAP component. I have deleted that handling column as an output in the TMAP component. So I have got whatever header I have just added it only to that particular header has been displayed and the data has been mapped from the input to that of the output. So how the mapping is done in the TMAP component as per the mapping which is done in the TMAP component. So this is how the TMAP component is used in order to map the data from the input component to that of the output component. 
So it is always not necessary that we have to map it as one to one. When we introduce this team up component, we can have many input and we can uh, produce that input as a multiple output also. That is also possible here. So thank you for watching the video. Please stay tuned for the next upcoming videos. Thank you.